Hi, my name is Susan Karcheski and I am the owner of Perfectly Unique Design Studio and Boutique in Pearson, Indiana. I am a published jewelry designer. My jewelry appeared in Beaded Jewelry, The Complete Guide by Susan Ray. In fact, my earrings are here on the cover. And I'm going to teach you today my quick wrap, which is a really fast way to wire wrap a pendant in under three minutes or less. If you, if you practice, you can do it in no time at all. So enjoy my video and let's get started. And here are the tools that we will be using for this project. You will need a pair of wire cutters. I just use regular tools from the hardware store. That's what I prefer. And needle nose pliers. And we'll use one roll of non-tarnishing silver wire, 20 gauge. And any stone of your choice. I happen to pick a jasper stone, which is uneven, to show you that it does not have to be a smooth stone for this project. To start, you will take your wire and unroll it and you're going to cut two pieces of wire that are approximately three times the size of your stone doubled. So we wrapped it around the stone and you've got one, two, and three. So it's approximately three times the size of the stone doubled. So we're going to use two wires like that and you can use your other wire to cut the second wire. And when you cut, you always make sure that your wire cutters are facing the table so that your wire would hit the table instead of going out somewhere else. So we're going to straighten the wire now. And you can wrap the bail around at the center, around your finger, your index finger to start making a loop. Okay, you get a small loop. We're going to twist this two times. One, two, and then you can open up your bail if you'd like. I like it like that. And then you can also smooth that bail out with your pliers. So now we make like a spider or we open up the four wires over the stone. And what you're going to do is in your head visualize three points where you can put the wire and bend it to make a anchor. So we'll start on this side and I'm going to use this point right here as a place to make an anchor wire. So I'm going to grab these two together around the stone, kind of sandwiching the stone. And we're going to make a twist and two twists. And that will secure that part of the stone. And then we take this and we follow it along the stone to a bottom point. So that's parallel from the top. And we're going to do the same thing with that same piece of wire. Make two twists. One, two. Okay. So now we have this side of the stone partially in. So now we have these two wires here. And you can go and find your other side and we want to make a twist, two twists on this side while we're holding firmly against the stone. One, two. So now we partially have this side in and we'll complete that by bringing the two sides down to the bottom and then we'll all meet at the bottom. We'll do one nice twist just so they're secure. Okay, now we want to make sure that everything is in really well. And this is what I call a jag. It tightens up the wire and it also makes a design. It's a half turn with the pliers. You can do that on either side. Go in the center of the wire and do a half turn or you could go this way. But whatever way you like, you can make a jag. And that also tightens the stone in. So I like to go this way. And we'll do the same thing with this wire. We put our pliers in the middle and we make a half turn. Okay, and then we have all these wires down at the bottom. Our stone is basically in right now. And we're just going to do a little design work on the back like I did on the front. Okay. 
And these wires you can either make coils with or you can cut off. You can also add more design to it, like bring this one up to the front and twist. And then if you want to cut that off there, we just cut it off and tuck our wire in. So we can add a little more dimension to the front. We can do the same thing with this wire. Say we want, I like things unproportional. So I'm going to bring this one up again in the front and get that around. Okay. Straighten out our bale if we happen to make this little one to follow the other one. Make our half turns. And if you want to make a coil, you can cut off the bottom. Say you want to cut these a little smaller, maybe an inch and a half. To make a coil, you're going to do a half turn and then roll up the wire, holding your pliers parallel to the wire and make small half turns. That makes a coil. And then again, if you want the wire to go up here, you're going to take your pliers and swing it here and lay it down. Same with this wire. I'm going to use this to make another coil. So I'll make a half turn. And once it's on top of the wire, I'm going to follow it up the wire with small half turns. And if I want that to lay right here, I'm just going to bend that over. Tighten that down. And I have two little coils at the bottom. And there's my wire wrap pendant. Thank you for watching my quick wrap wire wrap pendant video. This is Susan Karcheski from Perfectly Unique Design Studio and Boutique in Pearson, Indiana. And that's a wrap.